Welcome back, friends, to our final video this week about Job. Now, we're going to talk today about how Job was blessed again by God and how he was given many blessings in his life. But first, we'll talk a little bit about the blessings we have in our life. So I brought a couple things today just to show how much we truly have been given in our lives. I have my phone here. You know, it's a nice phone. So it's pretty new, actually. Just got it last year. It still works very well. It's a nice phone. But I also have an iPad that I use uh, in my office sometimes. And I have a computer that I work on. And I have another computer at home that I use when I'm at home. It's a lot of stuff, right? Just a lot of, and a lot of redundant things. I have here uh, my keys that show, you know, my apartment key. So I have an apartment that I rent. I have a car. Actually, this is uh, Mrs. Marquardt's car and my car. It was all these things that we own in life, that we have in life, that truly show the abundance of what we own. Now, Job, if you remember the story, had lots of things, but they were taken away. And in that event, the death of his children, the loss of all his property, and his livestock, his livelihood, all of these tragic events that occurred to him, he still had faith. And of course, he had uh, faith in the resurrection, which is what really carried him through those hard times. Now, he also had some friends who didn't give him such great advice as we heard in our last video. But in the end, the final chapter of Job, we read that God does bless Job. In fact, he more than blesses Job, he doubles all that Job had previously had. So we read in Job chapter 42, verse 12, that the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. Now, what's so important about all those numbers? Why do we have those numbers written down for us? Well, if you look back to the first chapter of Job and you read his story again, you notice that it is true. All the numbers of sheep and cattle and all these things that Job owned now are exactly doubled in this final chapter, where we see that God really has truly poured out blessing upon blessing in Job's earthly life. The only thing that we notice doesn't double is his children. So in the beginning of Job, Job had seven sons and three daughters. And at the end of Job, after those have all died, we see that the Lord gives him seven more sons and three more daughters. Now he doesn't double that number, he doesn't give 14 and 6, he gives 7 and 3 because Job still has those children. Even though they are dead, they are in heaven and Job will get to be with them again. And that's the faith that he had, we saw, in the resurrection that he believed in. And so it's really truly important for us to recognize that even though Job had lots of things, the things in life are not what's so important, but life itself is the gift from God that we should cherish most. And our eternal life that Jesus promises to give to us abundantly is what we will cherish and uh, enjoy the most. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the many gifts you have given us. Help us to use them to serve you but also help us to remember that the most important, the most valuable gift of all that you have given is the gift of life and the gift of eternal life because of your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us to always remember and have hope and faith in that eternal life. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. You may subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon or watch similar videos by clicking on the link.